Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play of Mountain Blade with Nerd Nostalgic. So, uh, in our last episode, we managed to uh, scout out some wheat and bring it back to our noble hamlet. Noble? Noble? Eh, more like humble. <laughs> our humble hamlet of Mention. And... So we got that done, and then we uh, we couldn't find Turia, so we lost that quest. And of course, Ferentis was like, "Ah, you suck!" And we were like, "Hey, shut up!" And then we ran into this uh, Kurgit man at the end of the episode. We've hired him for the uh, sum of four hundred dinar. I don't know how much he costs per month. We'll see, or per week. All right, so we're at tier right now. Um, actually, I want to take a look at my party. Behestra, here he is. Three dinars per week, so that's pretty cheap. Um, let's see what he's got going on here. Let's see your equipment, big boy. Okay, so he, he starts with, with shite, of course. You know, no horse, nothing. So we're going to have to get him hooked up. Um, so we'll keep him in the back. Uh, let's look at his skills. So he's level five. Interesting. So he's like a... Well, he starts with some good proficiencies. Power draw. So he's more like a mounted archer. All right, roger that, roger that. That's cool. Horse archery. Really. But he has really high int. That's very strange. He has really high int. We're going to have to pump his agility, I think, is what's going to have to happen. So he'll be, a, he'll be good for us. We'll just leave him in the back. In the back. So I want to wait here at tier until... Well, actually, it's evening. Can we... Is the arena closed? Yeah, okay. I want to wait here until the next day. Okay, so uh, after consulting with the peers of the realm, Ragnar has decided to confer Toastar on Yarl Gurlad. Okay. Do we still have that quest? We do. So we're just going to chill... And wait until tomorrow so we can see where the, uh, okay, so we can see where the tournaments are going on right now. Who can we upgrade? Probably, okay, the footman. Cool. Let's make sure that, uh, we need to talk to King Ragnar. Lots of Jarls up here, Interesting. Okay, now we probably can hit the arena. Nope, still locked. Okay, so we have to wait. I always want to hit escape to get out of this screen, but it's you can't. It's not how it's not how this game works. Now can we enter the arena? Okay, very good. Uh, Suno and Kura. I don't know where that is. Where's Suno? Suno. Well, Suno's just right over there. Hmm. We could just ride over there, you know, and have a go. I don't know where Kura, Kura, Kra, Kra. Wow, look at this place, all off in the middle of nowhere. Ah, Kura, Kura, right there. Wow, okay, they're both pretty close. Hmm. I don't know if we can get there in time, but we maybe well, we can try, I guess. Um, all right, let's leave. Actually, let's uh, go to the castle. See if we can figure out where King Ragnar is. Lady Jadith. All right, let's. Uh, no, it's not. I didn't want to know her more. He's at Dirtios. Okay, that's perfect. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. All right, so we'll head over through here, over to Suno. And, uh, oh my god, look at all those caravans. And then we'll sweep south. Back towards Dirtios. God, that's a lot of caravans. What are they doing? I 
Very active. Very active. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we're going to get there today. We'll probably get there tomorrow. Ooh, forest bandits. I wonder if they're going to attack that caravan. I'm protecting the caravan. That's what I'm doing. Not really. Uh, I can see by the vines and terraces on the hillside that I'm near home. I have no wish to see my family, so I will linger outside the walls. If you go into town, I'm sure that you will understand. Tell me more. Here in the Vale of Suno, our dialect and customs are closer than anywhere else in Colorado to those of the old Colorado Empire. We grow olives and wine, both crops brought to this land from overseas by the emperors, and also follow the old Colorado ways. We keep our pledges and pay our debts. We men of Suno also never forget an insult and avenge any wrong done to us. Old-fashioned Colorado honor, I dare say, has brought me to my current fallen state. But despite that, I am proud to be from this region. Our lord is a vassal of the Swadian king in Provin, but as far as we are concerned, he is just yet another barbarian chieftain. We are the empire's true heirs. Hmm. So he's probably going to, I guess he's just going to wait outside while we do this. I guess. Okay. So we got to wait here until, uh, until early morning. I guess we could check the tavern. See if there's anything interesting going on. Who's in the tavern? Anybody? No. Okay. So let's, uh, we'll just hold down the space bar. Wait until early morning. See if we can make some money in a tournament. Looters. Oh, they're running. I wonder if we can catch them. I think we can. <laughs> okay, so Martin's saying, hey, don't do that. I don't care. I don't much care to hear Behester gloat about the caravans he has looted, or he plans to loot like he has no respect. We're good on his trade. Um, you know, Marnit, I like you. I like you, but I don't want you picking any fights with him. Okay. So we're going. How fast are we going here? I think we can catch him. There we go. Be warned, Knave. This caravan is under the protection of Sultan Hakim. Step out of our way or you will face his fury. I don't really give a shit. Coming from Suno and heading to Voluka, we believe that there is money to be made in selling oil, bread, and other goods. Well, I demand. Um, there's a toll. Please, I don't want any trouble. I can give you 242. That's not hardly any dinars. I'm taking everything. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I want more. 242 dinars is nothing. It's like a week for my band. And we're, you know, we've got a lot of inventory space here. Oh, there they are. Oh wow, they have a lot of horsemen. I think we'll be fine. I really do. Cut his horse out from underneath him. Nice. Hey, there's Behester. He has like no gear. And he's like getting in on it. Good job, Behester. Yeah, we're like... We're we're doing pretty well here. I don't see a whole lot of our people getting getting taken out. I, I was a little scared at first because 
They had so many mounted units, you know? I was like, damn, that is a ton of mounted units, but... Gotcha. Gotcha. Marnid! Marnid getting in on it. Good job, Marnid. Nice work, buddy. Marnid getting a kill. Okay. Wow! His horse just rolled on top of him. That's horrible. There we go. Who else we got here? Yay! His horse rolled on top of him, guys. I'm not sure if you saw that. Okay, so Ferentis got wounded. Everybody else, we just like absolutely destroyed them. Three caravan guards. We're going to capture them. Oh, yeah. That's what daddy likes. That's what daddy likes. Got some fruit. But a nasal helmet. Rusty nasal helmet. Okay, we're taking all their stuff. Too bad for you guys. Too bad for you. Alright. So. Go up to some hus Huskarls. Why are these Huskarls not um, like in the front? They're like the badasses. Slave Crusher? I'm upgrading them to a Slave Crusher just because the name sounds so brutal. Okay, inward footman, trained footman, slave crusher, move up. Yeah. Alright, so um, let's. We need to take a look here at Behester's equipment so we can give him some stuff. Alright, so what do we got here? So he's got this nomad vest. I think the jerkin is definitely a little bit better. And then he needs a helmet, so let's give him this nasal helmet. Let's see. Need to give him a shield. Didn't we loot a shield? We did. There we go. And I think that's all we can give him. Yeah. So. Cool. Alright. Good job, Marnid! job all right what do we got going on down here routed enemies all right let's head back up to suno so we were all about like we we're like hey we're gonna we're gonna do this tournament and then it's like nah instead we're going to uh we're gonna chase down this caravan <laughs> all right so the tournament is still going on very good let's sell our stuff though first so, we've got uh, some weapons we can sell. Very good. And we've got some armor that we loot. <laughs> they probably just brought it out of here, too. That's, that's pretty funny. Ooh, butter. Yeah, we'll keep that around for the morale. Good, good. And there's some of this stuff. Yeah, like pottery. We don't need the pottery. Or the wool. We'll keep the butter. Oh, I missed that leather jacket. Sell the salt. Ooh, that was worth a lot. And let's sell that jacket. Okay, uh, let's join the tournament. Who's in the tournament? Count Montawar, huh? Eh, I'll crush them all. I will crush them all. What do we got? Oh my god, I'm, I'm a Lancer. This is not good. I don't really like being a Lancer here. So I was told just hold the lance up, but I don't know. Give me this practice sword. I want a sword. 
Give it to me. Give it to me. God damn it. Give it to me. There we go. Alright, that's much better. Oh, Behester's on my team, I think. Boosh! Take that, Zarina. Get clobbered. Yeah, I don't want to be... I don't want to be mounted. Like, I, I don't want to have a lance like that anymore. If it's like one-on-one -on -one lancing, I'm cool with that, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm down with this. This is fun. I'm going to stick with my homeboy here. Or homegirl. Good. Okay. Where are you going, homegirl? Uh oh. Shit! Ouch. How'd you two guys start on horses? What? Where's the rest of my team? How did you guys have three? Well, I killed your friggin' horse. Hopefully we get past the next round because that was a little bit rude. No, they didn't pass us. Every other tournament when we've lost, they're like, yeah, you can go to the next round. But like, we had two people on our team. They had three. Was our third person not with the, not with the team at the start? Zarina. Zarina, we knocked her ass out in the first round. Undefeated. We defeated her. I knocked her out in the first round. Well... How about that? First tournament loss. Oh well. Lost some money. Alright, we need to see where the other tournaments are. See if there's still a tournament going on. Kura. Kura. Okay. Well, we probably need to head and check in on our, uh, on Mechen. Before we do anything else, so... Who knows, maybe we'll run into a caravan or something on the way. That'd be fun. I don't know, it's not with it's not without all without gain because we did we did make some money from looting that caravan, so I can't, you know, just I can't be too upset, you know. It did kind of suck though. All right, who is ready for an upgrade? I don't know if we're going to make it to Cure All by the time the tournament, before the tournament kicks off, you know? So I said Jarl, or I'm sorry, King Ragnar is down here at Durchios. We'll see. An elderly woman approaches your party and passes one of your middle. Okay, so this is for, from Zippel. Zippel. She wants to see me. I'll go see her. How long do we have on that? 26 days. Ah, that's plenty of time. Plenty o' time. I should have stopped by the tavern and tried to sell those prisoners. I wonder if Rag, Mr. Ragnar is here. Mr. Ragnar, are you here? Are you here? Does not look like he's here. Aw, shucks. 
beep, 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 beep. Let's talk to his lady friend and see. Whoa, wait, no. I, I'm sorry, King Ragnar. I, I just, I'm just going to bite my tongue. Uh, my lord, there is something I, I have wish to tell you in confidence about one of your vassals. What is it? I value your opinion, though I hope that you are not trying to sow dissension among my vassals. My liege, Charles Harold, is widely held by your vassals to be hopelessly naive. A liability to your realm. Ooh! Sow discord among my vassals, will you? With everything else going on, do you think I appreciate my nobles turning on each other like quarreling dogs? Let me ask you this. Did someone put you up to this? I stand by my words, my liege. Indeed, you may stand by your words, but keep them to yourself. I will not have you undercutting my faithful follower, Jarl Remald. What? Jarl Remald was the one who told us to do it, wasn't he? Huh, interesting. Too many tasks? No. So, so Ragnar doesn't like us as much now. That's unfortunate, but let's go over here to Deerum and uh, try to sell some slaves. Where are you going, huh? Yeah, where are you going? Yeah, let's go get him, Ragnar. Yeah, we'll never catch them. They're going way faster than we are. Wait, can we sell? Yes! <laughs> We're just like liars. We're like, yeah, yeah, there were, there were definitely some outlaws. <laughs> yes. Just always say yes. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Deerum. And see if we can sell these prisoners. I was hoping we could sell them to the Manhunters, but... Okay, that's not what I meant to click. So we got a caravan guard, a farmer. A farmer? Why is there a farmer here? You look like a man of sword and somebody could help us. We hear my plea. What are you bubbling about, peasants? Speak out! <laughs> A band of brigands have taken refuge in our village. They do. They take everything we have, force us to serve them, and do us much evil. If one of us so much as breathes a word of protest, they kill the poor soul on the spot right away. Our lives have become unbearable. I risked my skin and ran away to find someone who can help us. Why don't you go to the lord of the village? He should take care of this vermin. That is true. I did, sir, but our lord's men did not let me see him. It said he was occupied with more important matters and that we should deal with our own problem ourselves. Please, sir. You look like a man of valor and a fearsome warrior, and you have no doubt many friends and soldiers at your service. If there's anyone who can help us, it's you. You know, he is he is definitely... This guy looks kind of like Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds, I'll do it for you. Amir. Alright. Um, yeah, let's go take care of this problem. Where is it? Right down there. I'm on it. I'm on it like Conky Dong. Oh, I really should put a cut in. Okay, let's let's pause. Let's put a cut in. And in the next video, we're going to go lay down the law in Amir. Because, you know what? I am the law when it comes to having fun. So, Thank you guys so much for joining me. And until next time, game on.